Kasner. All right, and we got my man um, ZD and Neo here. Now, this is interesting because uh, ZD actually pulled a bit of an upset earlier, uh, taking out Zage in a, in a very close about uh, game that, yeah. three. So that was a really good to see. And of course, Neo Rio right now, this guy's about as established oh, yeah. as it gets. And you know, I'm sure we all know uh, who Neo is. Very strong player from yep. our region. Although playing Marth recently, that's sort of new. Something we haven't seen too much of. Lately. Well, you know what? Um, it's interesting. Like since uh, a few, the last update, he really feels like uh, Marth has a lot of just safe, oh, yeah. safe, safe options right here. And Neo already somebody's just such a master of spacing, man. I mean, to put a character like Marth in, in his hands, you know, regardless of how people say this character just isn't good anymore, I disagree. Ooh, Neo is somebody very who nice gets counter. a jump, and that's just smart, efficient play right there. Not going for any kind. Of aggressive options jumps down with the counter sends that boy all the way back he ain't even entered the double digits right now man that's sick see the single digits i call that the dollar maker percent because it's the best date you're ever gonna find an absolute beautiful start here for neo on game one here in winner's quarters mm -hmm. only at eight percent still sitting on his first stock cd's trying to do what he can getting some nice strings off there Ooh, very was, nice forward smash that was there really nice okay He's still just going to be looking for how he can crawl his way back into this match because right now Neo's just playing so strong. Yep, and Neo having no problem just holding this platform real quick. Going to wait until he feels he's in and uh, got, has the vantage point right there to attack. But ZD doing a good job despite losing that first stock uh, quite low. Has actually managed to take Neo right now to 72%. Okay. Yeah, he's doing a very nice job of just getting in there and doing a lot of damage that he needs to do and get it out. He has to play very safe right now. He is on the aggression, but... You know, he's playing it very smart, so just, eating a dash attack right there and... Just that's... look at the way Neo just... It's, almost, it's just... It's such a pseudo wall he just builds, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Just keeping you out with that precise spacing. I mean, it's ridiculous what this guy can do. Yeah, you know, he's, he's doing... been a, a tried and true, you know, Marf uh, supporter since Melee, you know what I mean? Really? This guy. Yeah. Roy, too. Glad to see him uh, start to pick up Marth in this game, too. Marth, yeah. very underrated character, I feel, in Smash 4. Yeah, I definitely think he has uh, some good tools right there, some underutilized tools, and Neo just putting them on display right now. I'm telling you. Doing such a great job of showcasing what Marth can do, especially in this matchup. You know, his pivot, CD's really having a hard time yep. here. His pivot gram is as well. Superb. Oh, yeah. So my man ZD definitely going to need to get something going here. Just find, me, just find anything right now. That man's sitting at 113%. You have to even put Neo in triple digits. So that's when you know things are going... <laughs> Not going your way. Man. Neo doing a very nice job of spacing himself out with those down tilts. Ooh, okay. Is that going to do it? Yes, it is. ZD forcing the shield drop right there. Maybe just tricking him a little bit. Very smart. Now, let's see if he can get any sort of momentum going here. It's going to be very tough for him to come back, but still at all possible. You know, Smash 4 game where Rage really comes in huge clutch. I tell you what, that game three against Zage was looking impossible, but he still put it off, but that will not be the case right there as Dio comes down very patient, waits for an air dodge, and punishes accordingly. Taking game one, making Marth look like uh, I might want to move up a couple spots on that tier list. Oh, yeah. Definitely making Marth look like, you know, someone who a lot of players I think are going to start reconsidering now. Right. And now he will switch to the token Roy. The token Roy? The token Roy. Oh. <laughs> I don't think they have a uh, an alternate costume to make them a true token, but <laughs> you know what? We'll take what we got. <laughs> oh man, Peach is the honor. Here we are, starting game two, back on Smashville here. The run back, really not a stage that uh, ZD is uncomfortable on by any means. Right. Now we're seeing a play style similar to his Marth one here, where he's using the down tilts and the nares to just zone Luigi out. Does seem to be working as well as Luigi is getting some strings off there, already getting up to a quick 44%. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely going to have an easier time getting in on Roy. I mean, that's not even a really a question. Um, but I think the main thing is that Roy is, I mean, he's just that much of a, so much more of a heavy hitter. Yeah. You know what I mean? And somebody like Neo is just going to aim to just trap you in situations, uh, make it very uncomfortable, you know. You're, you're going to see that's, that's going to be kind of the deciding factor here. But my man ZD, uh, since like the patch, the initial patch on Luigi, I think he saw those places falling, you know, quite a bit. But he is definitely stuck with his character, found some new tricks, and uh, he's just looking just as sharp as I've ever seen him. He's oh, yeah. one of those players who was kind of on the rise uh, before the last patch. And you know what? It looks like he's definitely back where he left off right there. Nice back here, too. Now, this is a complete 180 from the game we saw first, right. where he, we're showing how ZD is very strong now, how he's just getting some excellent strings off, some great conversions from any uh, hit he can get in there. Oh, goodness, man, I just love this man's uh, 
pivots. Neo. This guy, guy who spends a lot of time in the lab, man. I always see him on Wi-Fi just training up. You want to answer my request to play a game with him? But that's cool. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You don't get better. I'm playing the worst. Ooh, I ain't mad at you. A little fast there got a little Ooh, scary. Double jab, though. Very nice jab jab for Sash there by ZD. Getting that first stock. Yep. Neo might be having second uh, thoughts about going Roy right here. So we go ahead and bring this back. ZD looking pristine right now. Right now, Neo's just really trying to think how he can clear out this stock. Uh, Luigi is in kill percent right now from uh, some of Roy's more dangerous moves, such as up smash or uh, sweet spot forward smash. Right. But those are both pretty hard land without a hard read. So we see ZD play very safe right now, knowing that he's in control of the pace of this match. Very nice down throw into back air there. Yeah, this is not uh, at all going Neo's way here. I anticipate if he drops this game, we're definitely going to see that Marv come back out. To be honest, I, I really wouldn't have switched. I understand you're comfortable uh, with how efficiently you won game one, but at the same time... Oh, Ooh. nice! Catches him with the up B. Gonna Very lead nice. Lead to a stage spike. Saw him go for that a couple times with Marfa, I feel like. Good to see uh, Execution coming alive with Roy. Now, he is definitely down 95%. So it's going to be a little bit of uphill battle, but certainly not anything impossible. Definitely. So, uh, the same sort of situation we saw last game, however... I do believe that Roy, with the rage he has built up right now, can get some good things going on Luigi there. He's going to have to stop uh, eating unnecessary hits as he was there, but he's far from out of this match just yet. Right. Ooh. Really like the rising nares uh, from, the plat or from the ledge. Uh, really cancels a lot of options that Luigi can do to push him back off stage. Right. I don't know. I don't think he's going to get hit by, caught by that a uh, second or third time right there. All right. Slowly but surely, Neo trying to creep back in here. He's just taking whatever hits he can and being very safe with how he does it. Without. Such beautiful fluid movement by Neo. Yeah, but really, ZD, I mean, I'm just impressed with the fact that he's just not getting flustered here. Um, you know, if you notice that Neo is starting to kind of... You know, bring this back, make the make the comeback, but it's not due to ZD really getting flustered or anything like that. He was just kind of adapting. I want to see ZD kind of going a little more. You know what I mean? You just gotta go for it sometimes. Oh! But unfortunately, we'll take it. We'll mess up his own ledge guard and be gimped by an up B there. Game two going to ZD, and we are moving on to a game three situation here. The Roy was definitely starting to find its you know find its stride right there towards the end of that game, but I would probably recommend a switch. Yeah, switching right back to Marth there. No. As he should. Not too, too often times you'll hear switching back to Marth. Three, two, one, go! Game three back on Smashville. See, very similar to game one here where uh, we're seeing how well Neo can zone uh, Luigi out. However, Luigi did get some strings off in the beginning, which uh, led to the equal percents we have here. So he has adapted a little bit to Mark's playstyle. Right. We'll see how that plays out uh, moving forward in this match. I mean, the fact of the matter is he's doing so much better than game one. I mean, you, you know, you still have your first stock and you didn't just put 8% on, you put 61 this time. Oh, yeah. I think that's something to write home about. <laughs> Keep it up, CD. <laughs> Very nice spot out right there, uh, getting a few hits of his own. Yep. All right, the way ZD's just kind of, you know, tightened up his gameplay, he might regret not just finishing this off in game number two. Right, but Neo's just struggling to get something going off here. ZD having such a strong defense here, keeping him off stage in such a very well manner. About that dash attack. Are we gaining some stage control here? Mm. Props to Z, he's just finding these ways. I mean, Neo doesn't get too many holes in that defense, man, but every single one ZD has found to take the full advantage of. I like that air dodge falling back with the forward air as well. Cover stuff. Okay. Going for that grab immediately, not even giving him a chance. I often go for a safer option going back to the ledge there instead of going for something too risky, he'd regret as we saw last game. Right. Oof. Oh, 
Trying to make the hard really fishing for that up smash right now. Definitely don't blame him for one, and now definitely seal the stock. The shield breaker coming out from Neo. We're just trying to catch him on a bad roll. Oh, but a Ooh, back air will take here. the first stock. Neo left himself open just a second, and ZD capitalizes big time. Let's go, ZD. You can see the intensity on uh, Neo's face now, as, especially opposed to game one, where he's really just not want to be sent to lose yeah. at this point in the tournament. I mean, it comes down to one of those things like a solidly won game one, right? Game two, I was bringing back, and uh, just I feel like maybe a misclick took it. Ooh. Oh, but he definitely, I see what he tried to do. We see Boss do that so many times. Just where he just tries down. to take away the second jump yep. with the down B and just Luigi will up B right back. Unfortunately, a bit too low for Z to pull that off. And I don't blame him at all for going for that, man. That, that's one of those opportunities where you get and you got to take it. Just unfortunately, oh, yeah. uh, not able to execute to perfection right there. Neo with a second breath here actually in the lead right now. Especially when uh, you're ahead of a stock, though, where you just have the opportunity to go for it. And you really have no reason not to. Right. So. Gets a grab off that fireball there. Pushing Marth to the platform where just keeping up a wall of projectiles, making sure Marth stays zoned out. Okay, ZD. Oh, Ooh, went for the raw Shoryu. See, but now Neo's going to be on the lookout for that. He knows that ZD likes to style when he's the last dock, so right. that's just one more thing you don't have to look out for from Luigi. Gotta respect the options. Exactly what he's doing right here. That's an excellent grab right there. Good reactions by Neo, just kind of anticipating what he's gonna do. Misfire. Not gonna get caught. Very nice reactions by uh, Neo. Oh wow, Ooh. just coming through with the up smash. And just That's a good way to get out of the new smash. Yeah. yeah, I mean, why not? Very nice spacing with those forward airs. Both mm. players are being very safe right now, looking for their opportunity, uh, where the other one would just mess up or do a wrong import or whatever. Just get the kill. That'll do it. And the yep. up throw will do it. All right. At that percent, you knew you knew that was one of the options he was definitely looking for uh, to seal the deal right there. Oh, yeah. And he does just that. But props to ZD as well, man. This kid. Uh, definitely becoming a little bit of a force to reckon with. But uh, Neo, that old school veteran, able to hang in there and seal the deal. Very, very nice set. Moving on to, I believe it is Techie versus Seagull Joe. Uh, that was the blue character. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> Hold it down. Anybody trying to order some Chinese? 